Hey, this is Daryl. This is Aaron. We're talking comic buzz right now. What's buzzworthy right now in the comic world is the all-new, all-different Marvel Universe just announced. Big things. 60 all-new number ones are going to be debuting post-Secret Wars. And you know that's more than 52. That's definitely more than 52. That's right. So it's not the new moon. It is kind of new. Yeah, the new Marvel Universe, the all-new, all-different, but they've said they're not going to erase continuity, they're not going to erase history. This is merely the next chapter in the Marvel Universe. A couple key things they've mentioned, an all-new Hulk. Thoughts? I don't know. I mean, they got me with the Bruce Banner fans who are really going to enjoy it, so I might enjoy it, but I'm not too sure. Like, it all depends. I've got a beef with this. I hate it. Other people in a person's costume. Like, this is the new someone's. It's like, annoying. like the new Spider Man. They're saying there's going to be a new Spider Man. Does that mean Miles Morales? Does that mean Peter Parker's married to Mary Jane again? Is that a guy underneath the mask for a while? I mean, let's we hope, just got Peter Parker back. Let's hope that it means married to Mary Jane again because this guy dropped Spider Man like a bad habit. We'll see. I don't know. Spider Man is my favorite character of all time. It's got to be pretty terrible for me to drop that. It's kind of like your dedication to Superman. Yeah, but even now I find myself questioning that. But we'll get to that in a minute. Yes, also a new Wolverine, but which Wolverine will it be? I say old man Logan, and I'm cool with that. You cool with that? You don't want regular young Wolverine? I would like to have regular young Wolverine back, but I do, I do think Marvel needs to stick it to Sony and be like, man, we need to write our characters back, even if they have to push the X-Men out of the way for a while. I'll agree with that. What's the future of the Fantastic Four? A lot of people are predicting that Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards is not going to make it out of Secret Wars. It's a scary thing, isn't it? And I'm not really a big stretchy guy, but I do have respect for the Fantastic Four because they were like the team, the thing that really started Marvel. I mean, you have to respect the Fantastic Four whether you're a big fan or not. And I'm not a big fan, but I do. That was the thing that started that whole movement. They launched the Silver Age, yeah. the, or the Marvel Age, as some may call it. So, but yeah, uh, the other big things coming out of the title: 60 all new number ones. Female Thor still around. Iron Man gets a new set of armor, and is it Tony Stark or is it not? Is it? That's a good question. But all I know is he gets a new set of armor. Steve Rogers is still around. Old Steve Rogers. I Not that. cool with that. Yeah, I gotta admit, I'm ready for the young. St I'm ready for Steve Rogers to come back and be himself. But I'm sure they they I'm sure Marvel has something up their sleeve with Civil War coming out down the road. Will Steve Rogers be back in the Captain America costume in the comics? One thing Axel Alonso said is they're not married to the films. It started in the comics, and the comics are going to do their own thing. He did say that it, um, you know, it looks like it's going to be a soft retcon. He said it wasn't going to be a hard retcon. Yeah. There's going to be some retconning going on. Yeah, they said they're not going to raise continuity again, but he did say that relationships will be different. So I'm assuming some people may not be friends anymore. Some might be. Hard to say. It is a lot like the D-15 thing, because it's not, you know, contrary to beliefs, it wasn't a hard It wasn't a hard It was less hard on... Batman and Green Lantern. Because they were the best selling titles. Yeah. It was super soft. It was terrible. Speaking of Batman and Green Lantern, Justice League Dark Side of War. We've already talked about it in our weekly comic video, which if you haven't seen yet, go watch. So, anyway, but... Uh, Let me get the rundown. Have you read it yet? No. It might be four years. No, no, we talked about Miracle Man earlier. We talked about it earlier. Yeah, but I didn't really get into it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> so basically, you got Dark Side. Well, he's sending his lackeys going around to kill Mira. Because it's, uh, obviously, it's a daughter of an Amazonian. And him. So there you go. He's going around killing people with that name. So is it Darkseid's daughter? Yes, it is Darkseid's daughter. And see her at the end. Though. So there you go. That's the beginning of the seeds that they're sowing now. Mr. Miracle and her might team. She's not cool to Justice League. She like to smack down. Great issue. You're, you're good. Great issue. Great. So definitely keep. Uh, also in July, there's going to be. We're going to get back to Marvel real quick. There's going to be a free magazine uh, that's going to debut the all new Marvel. All different, all new, whatever Marvel Universe. Get it. It's going to be out in July. That's I all I got to say. Out of 60 titles, we ought to get a Punisher. So I'm, I'm cool. Uh, and Thor is going to continue with Jason Aaron's thing. I don't know what about Suit Superior Iron Man. Like, I'm really hoping Tom Taylor comes back. I hope he's really disappointed. Like, the Pepper Potts, Iron Man, Ghost, Iron Woman, whatever. That was pretty cool. If you guys are reading from Superior Iron Man, you know what I'm talking about. We're out of time! We are out of time. It's Big Bang Talks Comic Buzz. I'm Daryl. I'm Aaron. We got him.
rolling, 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 rolling,